everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Kathy and today I'm going to be doing another unboxing video so this is the Frank Garcia uh, mini album parcel club so basically how it works is every month you get sent a parcel which is a mini album kit that you can make and um, you can subscribe to it so I think I subscribed to it for a year so this is actually my second kit that I've gotten and it's the one for March 2018. So I'm going to leave the information below on how to actually subscribe to his media album kit if he has um, space. I think what you do is you check every month at the beginning of the month, like on the first day of the month, and you can see whether he is accepting any more subscriptions and um, that's how it works. So this is how the box is sent. I actually haven't opened it further than this, so um, what he does is he, he packages it so nicely. So usually there's something on top that you're gonna be using inside of the album. So this is a little um, bird, so cute, by Maggie Holmes. It's like a flourish. And then he sends you a little postcard. So this is the March 2018 parcel and then there's like a little welcome to the club and it, there's a picture of the uh, mini album that we're going to be making so um this one is a kind of a easter spring kind of sunny um album that we're going to be making so i'm so excited to um get into that so i'm just going to open it up like just i like as it is so and i'm going to show you what we get so pretty cool you have no idea like he does send off he, he actually does videos on the album and once it's made and he, he will he will post you can become part of a Facebook group and he will post um, pictures and and um, the actual album he'll do like a live video and he'll show you the album complete so that you can follow along but there's also instructions in here so these this is by Maggie Holmes I've actually never purchased anything it's crepe paper but I'm assuming that Maggie Holmes is the designer of this paper so this is like the ephemera pack and it's all it has all kinds of um, kind of like cardstock um, embellishments and vellum like you can tell that some of the pieces in here are vellum um, pieces so those are really pretty there is a coordinating um, gold kind of strand I don't know what you would call this let's see it's just like tech decorative trim so it's, you can tell it's like a gold kind of with like little leaves on it um, of decorative trim so we'll be using that I'm assuming um, these are the ma uh, coordinating well I guess they coordinated these prune flowers to go along with it so I'm obsessed with prune flowers I think that they do such an amazing job um, on their flowers and this one is called oh, it's hard to see this is another crepe paper this is called these are what they're calling nine standouts so basically they're like little cardstock pieces that you can put on this is really fun this one's on like almost like a toothpick and they're yeah coordinating flourishes there's stickers which is awesome. So you get the stickers and then you have some kind of sentiments on the back and then you have some gold, hopefully that's not too blinding, and then you have some gold alphabet um, stickers as well. I'm trying to see if there's a name. Oh, I guess, so I'm assuming that the name of this kit is called Flourish because that's on all of the pieces. So this is the crepe paper by Maggie Homes and the actual line is called Flourish. Here's some more pra Prima flowers that we're going to be able to use on our project. Those are lovely. I just love those. Uh, oh, this is amazing. So this is um, basically a sticker sheet that's double-sided and it's coordinating with all of the everything else. We always get sent some kind of little package that has like min miscellaneous kind of things that we need for the album like the little pearls and some of the um, trim and some little like uh, roses and stuff. 
So that's always fun. Oh, this is like a mini, a little mini, mini album. So this one is 6 by 7.5. So that's neat. The other last one we did was a square album. So this one's more of a rectangle album. So I kind of like that. That's I've never used this album before. Their premium albums are so amazing. They're so sturdy. I love their albums. They're so well made. Really, really nice. And then what he does is he also designs a tag that you get to make with along with the mini album. So what he recommends that you do is you make the mini album first with all the paper that you get and then with the leftovers you should be able to create a tag that he also designed which is really nice. I love tags. I don't know I don't I always don't know what to do with them but I really enjoy them. So I'm just gonna pull out the paper and then move the box aside. Okay so this is also the paper pack that we get. So inside of here, you're going to get like a full instruction sheet. So each page, he actually goes into detail with the measurements and what to cut the paper down to and how to kind of lay out your page. So you get uh, full instructions on the mini album and the tag. Usually we need some kind of um, card stock. So that's usually for photo mats that you're going to be putting down. There's a gold, I don't know where he gets this, I've never seen this actually. This is like a gold um, paper foil, but when, and I think it's going to go on the binding, but it's so cool. This is so neat. It's kind of like, it's I don't know if you call it paper, or, but it's really cool. It's a really cool <laughs> um, piece of gold foil. It's kind of love, I like that. So these are all the coordinating papers. So it looks like... This is an acetate page, so that basically that's going to be a clear page. How cool is that? That we're probably, I'm assuming we're probably cut down. I would think that we're going to be cutting out some of those. So that just comes in a kind of a protected sheet there. And then these are the papers. So again, it's Maggie Holmes and it's called Flourish by Crate Paper. So this is really nice. There, um, there's a bit of a border there and they're all double sided, which I love. I like that the, you can kind of cut out this little trim here. I kind of wish that it went the full 12 by 12, but anyways, you can cut this out and use it on your projects too. That's kind of neat. So there's that style of paper. This one, oh, that's really fun. I love the back of that. Okay, so they actually, each of them have like this little sort of trim like in the corner where you can cut it out and use it in your projects, which is kind of neat. This one is really nice um, colors and the back with a little bit of that trim there. Oh, this is fun. This is a great uh, background page. This reminds me of like a beach, like kind of a holiday page as well. And then there's the trim on this side. So the trim comes on the one side on this side, but then when you flip it over, there's also trim on the other side. So that's kind of neat. So you kind of have the opportunity for two different trims that you can use. Oh, and this is a ticket. This is fun. This is one I bet you anything we'll be cutting this one up and putting it on, um, like with some of the little tickets and stuff. That's fun. And then wood grain on the back. There's this one. And again, one that you can cut out. I, I kind of like, I really do actually appreciate these pages because you can just cut cut out the um, the little pockets and stuff that you can make. So it's kind of handy that it just comes on a sheet of paper and then you just have to trim it out. I don't mind doing that. And then these are the flowers and florals and then the back. Some camera. Like, well, they kind of remind me of cameras. <clears throat> oh, and the butterflies, how fun on the back. I love that side, that's a fun sheet. This one, it's more of a background. Oh, you get two of these um, backgrounds, papers with, these ones are so different. Like there's so many different pages and colors and stuff, but I love how they coordinate, but they're not all, they're not all done so that they all blend overly well together. You know what I mean? Like there's a bit, like enough contrast that you're gonna see it uh, kind of like that. And these are some peacocks with some brick white brick on the back. We get two of those. And we get two of these florals and 
some polka dots on the back. Oh, and then again, another cutaway, two cutaway papers that we'll be, I'm sure we'll be cutting this down and using it. I love that. I really do appreciate that. Oh, and that's interesting. That's like a watercolor, <laughs> color by number on the back. How fun is that? That's pretty fun. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then we get some coordinating. The last thing that is in here is we get some coordinating chipboard. And these are great. Um, these are really thick. And I love these for like the front. I know that we're using some of these on the front of the album. But even throughout the album, I love chipboard pieces. I just think that I love that how sturdy they are. And they just add so much, I feel, to your project. So that is the um, unboxing for the March 2018 Frank Garcia Mini Album Parcel Club. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to start making this album. I'm probably going to do it within the next couple of weeks. I know that he's already sent out the April box. So my goal is to try and keep on top of it and not get too far behind. So I will show you the completed project once I'm done. And if you want to see the other videos, I have um, my February unboxing and my completed album for February. I will leave links to those um, below this video if you want to check those out. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy crafting. Thanks. Bye-bye.